Hello everyone. Now I'm going to uh, use a solver add-in to find the optimal solution for an assignment problem. Here are example a machine assignment problem. Uh, we have four machine and four job that must be done. <coughs> and the time for uh, that is needed to complete each job by a machine is given in the table below, which is a setup time for the machine. For example, if the job one wants to use the machine to be complete, the setup time need is 14 hours. So first, uh, we have to enter the information for this table in the Excel. So open a new sheet and start to enter the information. So we have first the machine information. We have machine and jobs. So we have four machine and we have four job. I prefer to put all alignment in the middle and everything in the center. So the time also is given. We have different job. Actually, we have four different job, and here we have to enter the setup time that is needed, as you see in this table. So, for example, for machine one, if it's one to use for job one, is 14 hour. For machine two, for job one, is two hour, and so on. So, I'm going to enter this information. Then if you check for the job 2 is 5, 12, 8 and 4. For the third job is 8, 6, 3, 6. And for the last job is 7, 5, 9, 10. After you enter this information, now we have to create a, another table, somehow the similar one, to enter some other information. So I'm going to copy the same table to not uh, write everything again. I'm just going to delete this information in the middle of the table, and then uh, since in the Assignment problem is a type of transportation problem, which is the summation of the supply and demand is equal to 1. So I'm going to enter supply here and demand here. So as you know, the value for the supply and demand for the Assignment problem is equal to 1. So it means that each job must be assigned to the one machine and each machine must be assigned to only one job. So here I'm going to enter 1 and copy the other cell here as well. So the sign that we have here must be equal sign because here is the supply constraint or machine constraint and also here we have the uh, demand constraint so similar to the transportation problem actually the assignment problem is very similar to transportation problem just in one difference that the all supply and demand is equal to one so i'm here i'm going to create the z which is the objective function 
which we can also call it the total time that is take to assign the job so I'm going to use the similar equation that I use in transportation problem which is called sum product to make it easy for us to find the summation of the objective function so the first array that we have is the time of setup time in the hour then we have to put the comma the second array that we have to select is here our decision variable and you have to close the parentheses after that and press enter now for the supply and demand we have to use equal sign summation open the parentheses the, for the machine one and for the other machine we can copy it down or write it one by one I'm going to write for second one as well select the number for the machine two so actually this is the second concern which is mean that x21 plus x22 plus x23 plus x24 close the parentheses press enter so we can copy it down as well for the demand constant is the same situation we can use some function open the parentheses select the summation of for job one which is x11 x21 x31 and x41 close the parentheses press enter and you can copy it to the other side as well now we enter all of these information now we can use uh, solver to find the optimal solution so first you have to go to the data ribbon solver here for the set objective we have here h7 which is total objective function our problem again is the minimization function so you have to select mean by changing variable cell means the value for decision variable of decision variable is written here so decision variable is this part you have to select this part of the table now we go to the constraint we add first we have to add the machine constraint so since all of them as they have the same sign I can select them as a group so the first second third and the fourth supply constraint is equal to the supply that we have which is one is here then press add for the second we have a demand constraint which are here and it's equal to the demand that we have one which is here and press ok now we have supply constraint and demand constraint just for the uh, assignment problem we have an extra constraint that we have to add here as you know uh, the decision variable in assignment problem are a binary variable so all decision variable that we have here must be binary it means that it should be zero or one for that reason we have to add a new constraint in the constraint part so press add so now we have to select the decision variable which are this cell which is created here and these decision variable are binary so uh, we have to select bin bin here means that the binary variable so you have to select a cell you have to go here and select the binary and press ok so now as you see it says that decision variable here is binary and then we don't need this unconstrained variable because if you remove it it doesn't matter because our decision variable is 0 or 1 then we can use a simplex LP and press solve you can see the optimal solution that is founded which is here 15 and these are the value for decision variable for example x11 is 0 x12 is 1 and so on so thank you for watching this video